set up your zaps so that you can automate some of the lead flow from your lead forms. You can use this to connect in with your ClickFunnels account or you can connect it straight to Facebook, uh, Facebook's lead ads and various other things that you might use. Um, but I'm just going to show you what we normally do when we make our zap. Okay. First I'm going to go over to my zaps tab here so you can see what zaps we currently have. Apparently my hotel Wi-Fi is a little glitchy, so hold on just a second. Alright, so this is how you make a zap. I'm in a hallway in a hotel and there's a random kid running sprints up the hall that wasn't happening when I started this video. <laughs> but we'll just forgive her for that for now. Hold on just a second. It was running really smooth up until I started doing this. Okay, so this is the Zap Creator. So the first thing you're going to do if we're doing it directly into Facebook is click your trigger app. And where trigger is going to be our new lead in a lead ad. So we're going to save plus continue. And then we're going to find our lead. So let's pretend I haven't connected any accounts before. And I wanted to connect to an account. I'll continue as Justin. <clears throat> it's going to find my ads account here. Okay. So continue on. And boom, it's going to pull up a bunch of pages I'm managing, and then it'll give us an idea of uh, which one we want to use here. So let's say I'm going to go straight into Justin Brock, and then it'll pull up the lead forms I have associated with that one. So let's say I have one for Steve in here. Okay, so then I'm going to click continue. And after I click continue, I am going to pull in samples and wait here. Okay, so I found lead A, which will pull in this data here from the lead. And we're going to click continue. And Okay, so we're going to add an action step now. So basically what that did is it set up the trigger. So we're telling the, the zap that when we get a new lead on this lead form, we want these actions to happen. And we can make multiple actions here. So the first action um, would be, uh, first action we normally use is an email. Send an outbound email. <clears throat> So I'm going to come here and I'm going to say I want the uh, email to be to say I want it to go to myself. I want the subject to just be new lead. And then in the body of the email, you click this little button here and you can say what you want in the email. So say I want that. Then I want to I hit enter down and then full name enter. The reason you hit enter is if you don't, it's going to jumble it all together. But if you hit enter, it'll come uh, through very nicely. Enter. So let's see. Let's see state and zip. And what else do we want to throw on there? Gender and date of birth. If you want more in your lead form, that's fine, but that's just standard how I would normally do it. Um, these other things are optional. I don't really mess with those much. And so I'm going to continue on through there. Finish setting morning. morning.
finish setting that up and then you can send a test email and test it but I know it's going to work because I've done it a million times so I'm going to skip that and I'm going to finish that step so now I have an action step but I want to more do more action steps so I'm going to do another action let's say I want Google Sheets I want all my leads to um, create a new row on a Google Sheet that I have set up save and continue and I can have um, it's set up in my Google Sheets account. Save plus continue. And <clears throat> I'm going to find my Google spreadsheets here. Let's say I have Justin's leads and go ahead. <clears throat> okay, and then on the worksheet, I'm going to select Justin because it's going to have multiple tabs, and I'm, I'm selecting the tab that I want it to create a new email or a new row on. So this is these are all optional, but you want them because these are the columns that are on your Google Sheet. So I'm going to add, remember you have to have the Google Sheet created before this will work, but <clears throat> that part's pretty easy. Let's see, let me get a new lead. <clears throat> Here's a new lead. I'm going to select my email, full name, new lead, select the full name, phone number, create a new lead, select the phone number, date of birth, select the date of birth, get a postcode, go down here and select the zip code, gender, go and select the gender. street address if you had that you could put that on there I don't know if I even did that on this one probably not so it's optional city if you wanted to do the city I didn't even put that on that lead form so we can leave the rest of it blank continue <clears throat> and now you have another one you could send the test but I'm not going to right now finish so now I have two action steps. So when this lead is triggered in the Facebook lead ad form, boom, we're going to send the outbound email to us. We're going to do the new row. Now let's say you wanted to get a text message. Say you're out on the road a lot. So add another action step. And go down here and get um, what is it? SMS. Save plus continue. And we're going to use the SMS. Um, I've already set it up to, to text me with my phone number. So, but if we say we're going to connect another account, I'm just going to put in our phone number here. And then when you do that, it's going to send you, um, you're going to confirm with an SMS. And it's going to text you. So, you're giving it permission to text you uh, every time there's a new lead. But I already have mine set up, so I'm just going to click save and continue. And you're going to pick a number that you want it to come from every time. I recommend not doing random because you want to do, you want it to be the same number every time so that you have a running text log of leads that are text to you. And then in the message, again, you set it up, you know, how you want it to look. Email, full name phone number, birthday, etc. However you want it set up. Boom. And we can send a test, or I'm just going to skip the test right now, and then say finish. So now I have my actions set up that I want. There are a billion different things you can do in here. So if you wanted more actions, you can go in. You could set it up to do, um, we normally set it up to integrate with MailChimp so that I can make sure these leads are added to my um, added to my email sequences but a lot of times by the time they get to this point they're already in there anyway um, but let's say you wanted to do that all you got to do is integrate with your MailChimp you can in, it integrates with WordPress um, Google contacts you know all kinds of different things you can set up here there's literally hundreds of them uh, 
if you're using Salesforce or something like that, you may not even need all of this because there might be some more intense integration. I can integrate with Stripe. I can integrate with, with pretty much anything, mini chat, all kinds of different stuff. So, um, you know, there's just kind of infinite things you could do in there. But for all intents and purposes, this is the main thing. Getting that lead to instantly email you, text message you, and then go somewhere to be stored so you could go back when you had time and call through all your leads at one time. And then at the end, you would make sure you clicked your, your zap on. And that would pretty much be it, guys. Um, you can always go back into your zaps and uh, at the uh, go here and it'll find all your active zaps and all your inactive zaps. Um, that's the one I just created, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because it was just a sample. But you can do it that way. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any more questions on it, you know how to find me and post them to the group and we can uh, try to get good answers to you. Talk to you guys later.